welcome back to my channel. Thank you so, so much for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you so much for clicking on this video and giving it a watch. If you haven't already, please consider hitting that subscribe button and joining my YouTube family. Also, don't forget to hit that like button down below and leave a comment because all of those things help my channel grow so, so very much. So real fast, I just wanted to bring you a little bit of a get to know me. I have gained so many subscribers in a short amount of time so I know a lot of you don't kind of know who I am and I've kind of shared my story on who I am over the course of videos here and there but I thought that I would just do one dedicated video of who am I. Um, I'm going to try to not have it be super jumbled because I don't have a list, I don't have bullet points, I thought I was going to write one out and I didn't. I'm just trying to get this done pretty fast before I get, have to go pick up my son from school. So um, that's what we're going to do today. So, hi, my name is Amber. Uh, my channel name is Amber's To-Do List, if you didn't pay attention when you clicked over. When I first started this channel, I did have a little bit more plans of kind of having an all-encompassing channel. I was going to do hauls, I was going to do home life, kind of do some vlog style, um, do my health journey over here, and do that kind of stuff. But um, as I started making videos at the beginning, um, Dollar Tree hauls is just kind of what stuck. It's what was easy for me to make. It was what um, got the views, to be honest. And it's like I said, it's easy for me. I go to the Dollar Tree anyway. This is not new because I started this channel. I started this channel because I went to the Dollar Tree. And so it's just kind of what stuck. So now it's primarily Dollar Tree hauls. But like I said, I am always going to Dollar Tree. I have three kids. Um, a touch on that is I am in a blended family. So my husband and I got married and we each brought kids into the relationship. We haven't had any together because while well, we tried at one point, it didn't happen. And then we figured, you know, we could be empty nesters in 10-ish years as opposed to in 18-ish years. So we decided to just stick with the three that we have. So I came into the relationship with Braxton. Braxton is 12 years old. He will be turning 13 at the end of the summer in September. Um, he is getting his sass at almost 13 in his preteen years, but he is a super smart, super sweet kid. Um, so fortunate to have him. He is, you know, he's a lover, but he's also just, he's picking up the sarcastic personalities of both my husband and I. And yeah, it's, it's, we've had some more challenges lately than we had, but I know it's with the age. Um, then my husband came in with two kiddos. Lorelai is currently 10 she will be 11 in august and she is she just has the biggest heart she is the sweetest little thing she just wants to make peace she's our little peacemaker she will just offer things to anybody whenever whenever like she's just the sweetest little person um it's a joy to watch her with others and just see her little sweet personality when it's not within the family and she is a doll and then our youngest is eric Eric is currently eight and he will be nine in May. Um, so just right around the corner. We call him our Sour Patch Kid because he is either the absolute sweetest little thing ever or he's a little sour puss. He doesn't always like the mornings and so he's um, like our grumpy one in the morning. He is grumpy all the way to school but then once he gets out to go into school he just changes and is all chipper like okay bye and he's just he's he's a sour patch kid and it's a flip just a flip from grumpy to um sweet you just never know um and he gets a case of the the hangries if he goes too long without eating he is the epitome of hangry you put some food in him and it's a switch like he's grumpy and then he's great as soon as he eats um but all three of them are amazing kids my husband and i talk regularly about how lucky we are with the three kiddos we got because they are all just such great kids um, having three kids, I love throwing birthday parties. This has been ever since um, Braxton was born, um, since his first birthday. I just love putting on birthday parties. It's one of my favorite things. In another life, I was a party planner. In another life, I will probably be a party planner. Maybe once, you know, all the kids leave and I can do more weekend and evening kind, kind of work because I feel like that's kind of where party planning takes you. Maybe I'll be a party planner in this life, but until then, I do have three kids that I love to throw parties for. So that is something you will see a lot of content on my channel. Just recently, you've seen me buying all the stuff for Lorelai's party, which isn't until August, but I got the, the bug and I started getting excited about her spa party and I started shopping for it. 
Eric has a dinosaur party coming up in May that I'm also working on and Braxton still hasn't decided his birthday. He's turning 13 so I don't know what that means. Maybe he's not going to be into a party but I've told them all that they're going to get themed parties until they move out because that's what mama likes to do. So that is something you're going to see a lot of is things for my kiddos especially parties. Um, I do throw just random parties. I've done little summer parties because it's the first day of summer and they're out of school and so I've put together like luau's and um, I've done different holiday parties or not even a party but like you know decorate it up and do like a special St. Patrick's Day dinner with everything in green or um, invite people over because I have all my Valentine's Day decor so we're doing a dinner with my um, in-laws my in my two brother-in-laws and their families are coming over for dinner and I'm like everything's cute and pink it's a great time to come over and so I love to just put themes together and like decorate and do all the things and that's that's something you're gonna see um, I do spoil my kiddos I buy them anytime I see something I think they're gonna love I buy it for them which definitely means I'm a cause for their messy rooms so um, I'm working on that of not buying so much currently I have a an a an abyss of just toys because I do buy things thinking my kids are going to love them and then I never gifted to them and so I'm going to donate them instead to the Ronald McDonald house is my current plan of donating a bunch of toys so you'll see me hauling stuff either with the plans of donating or they might just end up in a pile and end up getting donated even though that wasn't the initial plan um, but I do love to donate when I can to places I feel like I live a very blessed life I'm very happy for my life and so where I can give back that's what I want to do uh, whenever possible. So let's see, who am I? So that's my family life, my kids, and kind of why I shop at Dollar Tree a lot. So I have, a, well, when I first went into Dollar Tree, I was amazed. It was many, many years ago. It wasn't as good as it is now, but um, I was just moving into my first place and I found their plates and their glasses and all those things. And I was like, everything's literally just a dollar and so I bought a stuff a bunch of stuff for my first apartment from Dollar Tree and that's where it started but that was back I was not making a lot of money so let's talk about my jobs um, when I was in high school and college I worked in a grocery store as a cashier um, I did that for 10 years part-time cashier work it was perfect through high school and college because the hours just worked out great and I enjoyed the job. I enjoyed talking to people every day. I enjoyed, you know, the small talk. I enjoyed all that. So I had a, a lot of fun being a cashier. Um, if the hours weren't so bad and if it wasn't constantly on your feet, it would be something that wouldn't be terrible to do. But um, and then I got my undergrad degree, so my bachelor's degree in psychology and criminal justice. And after I got that, it was time to kind of move on. So I went on to work in a juvenile detention center. And I was basically a jail guard, jail guard for juvies for about five years. Um, and while I was working there, that was a very hard job. That's very mentally taxing job and safety oriented and all the things. And after I had my son, it was hard for me to remain there. And I had just gotten my master's degree in forensic psychology while I worked there and while I was pregnant and while I had a newborn I, all the things I earned my degree in forensic psychology um, at the time my goal was to be I think his name was Dr. Wong maybe in criminal just or no in a SVU um, crap, what is the name of the show I haven't watched it in years now in the SVU show he was the forensic psychologist he was the psychologist that tried to get into the minds of the criminals that never worked out because then I looked at like what you have to do to do that and like you have to be a police officer and then like step into that and I don't want to do all that um so instead I went into probation and I was a probation officer for a number of years I think three or four years I was probation officer um and I did that well Braxton was a baby and a young toddler and then I just kind of decided that I didn't want to do casework anymore I didn't want other people's problems to be my problem and so I tried to kind of get into marketing after that and that didn't really work out well for me um, financially one at that point I was a single mom so financially it was a difficult time and then um, it just wasn't my forte starting from the bottom when I was already you know pretty high up in the criminal justice field so I ended up then going into child welfare which again is very taxing very difficult so and other people's problems are your problem but I worked in child welfare for a number of years um, I did meet some wonderful families I do still have some connections to some parents that did a, an amazing job at changing their lives 
and um, just being able to see their babies grow up is still pretty cool. But um, that was really hard and the commute was really hard because it was pretty far away. And at the time, my husband's job, which is a geotechnical drilling company, um, was looking to start doing um, HR. They hadn't had an HR representative working for them. And so they hired me on, let me do all the training, and I did HR for them for a couple of years. And then COVID happened, and I ended up getting laid off because... That's just what happened. So I got laid off from there. I still have a good relationship with that company because my husband's still a manager there. But um, we discussed our life at the time. It was still 2020. Things were weird. Uh, maybe it was 2021, actually. Um, but we didn't know about school or anything like that and home learning and all the things that came with COVID. And so I decided, my husband and I both decided that I would be a stay-at-home mom for at least through that summer because I got laid off in March. Um, and then ever since then, I still haven't gone back to work because it's just worked me being a stay at home mom. So I'm currently a stay at home mom since 2021. Not long after that, that's when I decided to start my YouTube channel because I was watching Dollar Tree haulers. I was watching people who were doing parties and all the things. And I'm like, wait, I think I can do that. And it's been so fun so far doing it and growing my channel, um, and being here. So we are pushing my two year anniversary. <gasps> My two year anniversary is coming up very soon. I need to watch for that um, here on YouTube and I've loved it. So that's kind of where I've come from. That's my history. I love being on YouTube. Like this has been so fun. It's so fun to go shopping and say, oh my God, I can't wait to share what I have found with everybody. Um, making the connections down in the comments through email, through my Instagram messenger has also been amazing. I have just made some friendships. I have made just connections that I did not necessarily expect that I would ever do. Um, it was kind of, kind of lonely at first. I kind of tried to like network with other channels. Some of them didn't work out. They just ignored me. And I think it was Frugal J was one of the first to come over to my channel comment. And it just opened the door to an amazing sisterhood of other YouTubers who all support one another. And we're always like, you know, talking about each other's channels and um, just being involved in each other's lives at a, at a distance because we're all in other states. But just making those connections with the other YouTubers where we're not competitors, but we're more like family because like, we're all doing the same thing, but we all like love each other and support each other while we do it. And th the subscribers too, like I've done giveaways and then I've made connections with the people that have won my giveaway prizes. And just, I just, I, I wasn't expecting all the love and friendships and relationships that I was going to make out of YouTube. So that I think is kind of who I am. I don't know if there's much more to tell. So I have kids and I buy stuff for my kids a lot and that's what you see a lot. Or I like things or I like to donate things. So that's kind of where we're at with like a lot of what I pick up. Um, I do on my YouTubes, on my videos, I like to share why I buy things because um, I love it when I watch channels and they give me their why because it like gives me so many great ideas that I didn't come up with on my own. And so if I'm sharing like what I'm picking things up for, especially if it's a little bit non-conventional for what the item is, I just hope to help other people kind of have that same like, oh my gosh, I would have never thought of that. What a good idea. So you will continue to see that from me. So my videos do get a little chatty. Sorry, but they do. Um, that's just who I am. And that way you can hopefully get other ideas. Um, anything else? I do have a second channel that I just started getting back going. Um, it's Amber's Losing It WW. It's linked down in my description box. And that one I am doing following my health journey. So I'm working on weight loss one, feeling better about myself, and um, just being healthier. So that's my second channel, Amber's Losing It WW. I started it last year, fell off the wagon about six months in, and now I'm back, back at it. So if that's anything that interests you, the WW is Weight Watchers, but they call themselves WW now. Um, so if that's something that interests you, I would love to see you over on that channel as well. And if it's not, that's totally okay too. Just stick with me here. Um, yeah, so I do have some plans. I'm trying to do different types of videos this year. I'm trying to um, grow as a YouTuber. I want to work on shorts because that's not something that I've ever really done. So I'm trying to teach myself or watch videos or learn how to do shorts. And I wanna do some other kind of videos. So my schedule I'm really working hard to being at is Dollar Tree hauls 
on Thursday and Saturday because that's just what's been working well for my Dollar Tree hauls. And then on Tuesday, I'm trying to just do something else, be it a collective haul or um, hopefully upcoming will be like pantry organization, my refrigerator organization. You guys watched me buy all the stuff for that. So that way, putting it to use, I've been procrastinating doing it. So that's coming up. It might get pre-recorded and then, you know, post it on another week. But I will bring you guys along um, to do that because hopefully by next week I'll be working on it, but not by Monday because I have kids because they're at home and I can't really record easily with the kiddos. Um, I am talking about maybe doing a recording studio down in my basement because then I could record more when the kids are home. Um, if I, I recorded my living area, we have an upstairs and a basement and then our main area. And when I'm here and the kids are like, you can just hear everything. And then they like to come down and like stare at me when I'm recording or they come down trying to talk to me when the, when the camera's on. So I tend, tend to try to record when they're at school, but summer is coming. And so if I can get a recording studio down in my basement where it will be just be quiet, then I'm, I'm working on that. Um, it's an idea, but um, let me know in the comments if there's any type of content or anything that you would like to see from me. This is a good place to let me know. If you want to introduce yourself, feel free to do so in the comments down below, or feel free to send me an email, amberstodolist at gmail.com, or feel free to message me on Instagram because I do have an Instagram um, of Amber's to do list as well. I haven't been quite as active on it, but I'm going to try to get back to being as active on it as I was previously. Um, and those are just some good ways if you want to let me know who you are. I would love to hear that. Um, I do have some giveaways coming up. I have plans for giveaways. I just haven't collected all the stuff to like share and like put out there for a giveaway. But um, we're getting close to 2,500 subscribers. And I feel like that's a really good time to celebrate. So it's coming close. I think we'll get there soon. And then I plan to share, you know, and, and give back and do a giveaway with you guys. So that's that's me. If you have any questions, if there's anything I didn't touch on. Oh, and I have two fur babies. This one's Ethel. She's in the back bed over there and Gertrude um, made her appearance in an earlier video on it was either Thursday or Saturday, but um, she's over on the couch taking a nap. But I have two fur babies too. Um, and we have hermit crabs that are the kids, but I take care of because that's part of being a mom. Um, but if there's any other content, anything at all that you want to see here, go ahead and leave me a comment. That way I know and I can work on it. Um, if there's anything, you know, if you've been here and if you think that there's any constructive criticism that you'd like to give, feel free to do that as well. I will say the one, the one piece that I typically get is that I chat too much and that's probably not going to change because I'm telling you what I'm using the products for and that's just kind of part of what my channel is. So um, if you don't like a chatty channel, I'm probably not the best because I'm kind of chatty. All right, guys, that is enough about me and my family and my kids and my fur babies. And um, if there's anything else you want to know, I live in the Denver metro area of Colorado. Um, that's, yeah, Denver metro area of Colorado. I tend to shop at many, many stores. Um, it depends on which direction I want to go. If I want to go north, east there's two stores i go to if i just want to go down south from where i'm at not super far there's two stores i go to if i want to go just west and like and this is just like you know straight up to the north a straight down to the south or just a straight over to the west there's at least well there's like four ish but i'll usually like do two and then do two so i go to a lot of stores so when i am finding all of the stuff that i find I'm going to a lot of stores for it. And then if like my husband and I happen to be like anywhere else, like in the Denver metro area that I don't usually go to, um, I like to try to find a Dollar Tree and go to a different one that's out of my regular stores and see if I can find anything new there. So I go to a lot of stores to find what I find. It's not ever, ever all at one store that I'm able to find everything. Um, I'm just fortunate to have a lot of stores around me. In my Denver metro suburban area, we have a lot of stores. So... That way, if that's ever been a question of yours, like I have a lot of stores I go to and typically on my shopping days, I'll go to like at least two, unless I'm just running for one particular item, I'll go to at least two stores and sometimes up to four, especially if I'm looking for something in particular, I will go until I find it. So, um, yeah, I'm lucky in that aspect. 
Um, again, yeah, if there's any other questions, because I just keep rambling now. Again, I didn't go off of a sheet. I should have written out like a, a checklist, but I didn't. So thank you all so much for being here. I hope that this answers any other questions about who I am. I hope that if you have any questions, drop them down below. I would love to answer them for you. If you have any constructive criticism about me, my my way of talking or anything like that, you can leave that down below as well. It may or may not make changes. You just never know because it depends on what it is. And guys, um, that's that's what I got. Now I got to go pick up the kiddo from school and live my mama life. All right. Bye, guys.